Hey guys, Viperis here. So today we're back with another Plants vs Zombies video, Battle for Neighborville, and uh, today we're pretty much me explaining how you get bulbs really fast. So at the moment, there's a Christmas event going on. This is around Christmas, obviously, and uh, there's a new elf skin and a, a lot of really cool skins. A new chopper skin. If you play this game, make sure to go get go go do this challenge because you can get some really insane cool things. For Christmas, and I recommend getting it now. Honestly, I should be doing this more. I actually haven't been doing it that much. Yeah, yeah you guys should make sure to go out there and get these items because they're they're really cool, honestly. Uh, so uh, basically, it's me covering how you get these items fast and efficiently. Um, and I'll show you here. So one of the main parts of getting these fast is. I want to say I'm just gonna tell you now. I mean, these are actually not too hard to do. Sometimes there's harder ones that aren't very good, but I'd say don't go out of your way to go do these. I just say if if you can, if you want to, you can go do them. Just try and mold, like try and I don't know, just don't really focus on them. Don't waste your time going out of your way to just go do that. I say focus on the character challenges. So. If you're one of those people who are just going to grind this out in one day or grind this out once a week, you got to you got to do good here. So every week, if you guys don't know for a month, every week it will come up with a new key and the key you can choose the character you want to work with. I've worked with only plants for this thing and I've gotten like all five challenges done for each. If you guys don't know, you get 2 4 6 8 10 10 whole bulbs for finishing the challenges, right? And then you get an extra 5, so that's 15 whole bulb bulbs per person. So you can get a total of 60 bulbs per person, and at the end you can get a cool cool item. So, start off, the, the best thing you're going to do is probably try getting those done. I'm going to show you guys how you can actually get those done fast, and earn bulbs at the same time. So... You're going to be a plant if you're doing it with plants. If you're being a zombie, uh, kind of do the same thing on the zombie side. But it, this this is this probably works better for plants. If you're if you've already if this is like near the end of the month and you already done all the challenges or you did all the challenges for the character that week, I just recommend I just extremely recommend only like just using the plant side. Uh, I recommend using the corn guy or the pea shooter to do this. Doesn't really matter too much. Like, honestly, you could just go into your character, really, but you just want to go to the, uh, the first area for the plants. The town center. And I'll show you once we get in here what we're going to do. Uh, but this method is, I've been using this for a while, and this works really well, so I, I seriously recommend using this method. If you guys haven't already, make sure to subscribe, like the video if you're enjoying it so far, Make sure to watch the end to figure out how you get bulbs really fast in this game. Um, I'm trying. I'm sorry. I I do not post videos that often. I'm really bad at that type of stuff. How I basically work as a person is... This is how it works. Every two weeks or every month, I get like five video ideas. I do them in like a couple days or a few days... And then I just don't post for a month or two weeks. And I'm trying to fix that problem, okay, guys? I'm trying to keep up the videos. Sometimes, uh, like, it's not really on purpose. Sometimes I have stuff I have to do. Sometimes I'm busy. I can't really always post every day. But uh, for this week, I'm going to be try posting daily. For this this one entire week, I'm going to see if I, can, if I can post daily. Um, I actually have a video. I posted a video... Monday of this week uh, One is gonna be coming out Tuesday Wednesday. This is probably gonna actually I have one for Thursday as well I believe that might be coming out and if this uh, video if I do bring out this video It's gonna be on Friday, so it's gonna be for all the main week, and then I'll try try posting on Saturday and Sunday as well, but What you're gonna do is you're gonna come down to the beach on the map if you don't know where that is it's in the bottom right of the map here. And you're gonna come here and you just wanna take out all these guys. You just wanna kill all these guys. Just trust me. 
So, while you're killing all these guys, what's actually happening is obviously you're getting XP. Uh, but what's gonna happen is you might have to respawn here because you might die a couple times. But what's gonna happen is once you actually defeat all the enemies in a single area, there's actually a war that's gonna happen, and a bunch of zombies are gonna spawn. There's gonna be a main boss that gives you a thousand XP, and he's really he's gonna help you a lot. Thousand out of like, if you don't know, it never changes, but you need about three or four thousand to get one bulb per thing. And basically, the point of this is you're gonna get your character, and you're gonna walk around here trying to get these challenges done. But at the same time, while doing that, you're gonna be gaining a lot of XP. So. Well, whatever your challenges are, just try using your abilities as much as you can, because usually that's what they're for, the, the challenges. They usually make you use your abilities, and uh, you might die, it's not that, that big of a problem. You want to keep killing the guys. Uh, Darganshwar, probably, you're probably only going to have to kill him once, honestly, to do this. Only once, I don't think he responds again, so you don't have to worry about that. But once you kill him, you're going to want to go down the beach this way. Sometimes enemies will spawn right here, but I think they are, I already killed them. Then you're going to make your way up into the boat. There's going to be usually a pirate and a few guys here. Take them out. Come on. Go take out the pirate. Take out these guys. guy okay so once you take out those guys i think sometimes they might spawn over here but spawn up here i know that for a fact once you've defeated all these guys here a war will start i don't know exactly where it'll start but i'll tell you a war will start so the way to know is there'll actually be actually like other plants that will probably come down to this area and i think they start spawning over here the zombies once you kill the guys leave this one over here if they don't show up on the beach for you guys, then what you're going to want to do is go up this way. I'm going to check in here one more time. Okay, so if they don't spawn for you guys, you guys are going to come up this way. They should spawn in over here. Yeah, see, they're spawning over here. So if they don't spawn down by the beach, you're going to want to come up here, and they're going to be here. And you'll see your plant allies. Uh, basically, zombies are going to start pouring in, and this is when you're just going to come and get as much kills as you can. Not only going to get XP for the character itself, but mostly just for the bulbs. Every kill counts. It's like 5 XP per kill, and then 20 per zombie hero. And then the final guy, the final boss, has 1,000 XP. Uh, you'll see I only have 1,000 left on my next bulb. But what you're going to do want to do is just try getting your challenges done. Use all your powers that you can. Uh, trust me, it doesn't take very long to do this, and you can get about... About in like in maybe in like less 40 minutes or less, you can get about 20 bulbs. Uh, and you can do that strat every week for four weeks. That's about 80 bulbs. And that that's a lot right there. Um, and you'll see that actually they did start spawning on the beach here. So if if they stop spawning up there, then you're probably going to want to make your way over here. Um, yeah, so I'm probably going to make more videos on this game. Not a lot. Because there's not really a lot of video ideas I can actually do on here. Um, but like I say in my past videos, if you guys have any any like any recommendations at all for videos, because I am really bad with video ideas, okay. Um, make sure to comment them. Uh, usually what I'm gonna be doing is every once in a while, if I haven't posted a video in a while that's still working like a glitch or something, I'm gonna repost it. Make it a little bit more easier than the last video was, and just try and try and explain it again for the players that actually don't know. Um, but my last video, or at least I'm pretty sure it was my last video, uh, actually showed a glitch how to get unlimited money on this game and XP. So you could use that you could use that method as well. But if you're just going straight for bulbs, um, and if you if you haven't done the challenges for this week, I really recommend just coming and doing this strategy i've been doing it and it really works trust me so make sure to come and do this um another way to get xp fast if you're wondering is collecting all the golden gnomes that's actually a really good method collecting all the golden gnomes and going and opening all the chests around the map complete pretty much just try and get every metal you can you'll see here 
I've got every medal in the game. Or not in the game, but in town center. For the plant side. I haven't got them all for the zombie side, but you'll see I completed everything. 3 out of 3 of the boss vanquishes. vanquishes 7 out of 7 of the golden chest. 50 out of 50 of the normal chest. 3 out of 3 of the diamond gnomes. 24 out of 24 of the golden gnomes. 10 out of 10 of the exercise tapes. 3 out of 3 of whatever those are, I don't even remember. 5 out of 5 of the brawl chests. And then 50 out of 50 medals. And those will give you tons of XP. Um, definitely recommend going and doing that. Uh, but besides that, I don't really think there's much else I can cover in this video. Um, if you're worried about running out of gold gnomes to collect, trust me, you won't. And, uh, yeah, it, this has been kind of a cool video. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Trust me, this will help you out a lot, so make sure to do this method. Um, if you enjoyed the video or you found it useful, please make sure to like and comment that you, um, that you enjoyed it. And, um... Yeah, I don't want to carry on the video any longer, uh, so I'm probably going to end it here, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye.